Uh, James Island Creek is a, just a wonderful kind of urban and suburban tidal creek. You've got a lot of homes and neighborhoods and businesses that surround the creek and are in the creek's watershed. It uh, also, unfortunately, is one of our most polluted creeks here in Charleston, and uh, it very frequently shows very high bacteria levels, uh, especially at our James Island Creek 2 site, which is just up past Folly Road, but this site here also tests positive uh, and very high a lot of the times. And so it, it's pretty emblematic, I think, of what, uh, what is happening to our urban and suburban tidal creek systems. As we've developed around them, there's a lot of uh, old drainage infrastructure, septic tanks, sewage infrastructure, and that sort of thing that uh, malfunction during heavy rainstorms and floods and send bacteria and wastewater directly into the creek. Uh, some of these neighborhoods that border the creek are still on septic, which is a big issue, uh, especially in our coastal soils. There can be a lot of communication between your septic tank drain field and the, uh, the adjacent creek. And so uh, also just over here this past summer, we had a huge sewer overflow. Uh, there was actually a geyser from a broken force main uh, that was shooting sewage water into the marsh. Uh, and so those are pretty typical uh, things that happen around these urban and suburban tidal creeks. Uh, just up this way off Central Park Road, we have a lot of flooding. Uh, you know, that flood water, when it sits on the ground, will pick up uh, all kinds of waste, whether it's uh, bacteria from human waste or pet waste or wildlife waste. It'll pick up trash and oil and grease, uh, yard chemicals, pesticides, that sort of thing. And when it drains away, it'll wash all that into the nearest, right into the creek. And so that portion of the creek really sees some really high bacteria results and, and some significant problems like that. So I think the thing that's exciting is the um, Councilwoman Carol Jackson and the city of Charleston, town of, town of James Island and Charleston County and Waterkeeper and Coastal Conservation League have organized uh, a task force that is going to be empowered to start to take action and to implement projects that will help fix these problems and get this creek cleaned up. I mean, we believe 100% that this creek ought to be swimmable, safe for swimming 100% of the time, no questions asked. That's the standard we're working for. There's no reason that we have to accept this level of pollution in our creeks. I mean, if you look around, this is beautiful. We see, you know, kayaks and docks, people are swimming off these all weekend. You know, we shouldn't have to risk our health just to enjoy our low country waterways.